All right, let's talk about modifier keys and keyboard shortcuts. Now those two really go hand in hand. A uh, modifier key is essentially, it's a key on your keyboard that is modified when you add something else to it. So for instance, when you hold down the shift key uh, and you press the letter or the number one rather, that's going to instead show an exclamation point. So that's a very kind of primitive example in Windows. This is how it works on Windows and, uh, and Mac as well. And even to an extent uh, works this way on mobile operating systems too. Now there are a great number of keyboard shortcuts that can be used using modifier keys. Just to run through a few of them, Control C is copy, Control V is paste. In a traditional document uh, creation software, you're going to do a Control B to bold the text, Control I to italicize, and Control U to underscore that text. Now you also have in Windows 10 a number of functions that are uh, special you know, for Windows 10 that aren't available in other operating systems. For instance, holding down the Windows key and then pressing C will open up Cortana and cause her to start listening, as you can see here. If you have OneNote installed, Control, or excuse me, Windows key and N will actually create a brand new note for you to use. So you can see here I created one just a moment ago. Um, so there are a great number of keyboard shortcuts there. I mean, there are just dozens and dozens, so there's too many to go over in this video. However, you can easily find a list of all those modifier keys and keyboard shortcuts online, and they are different even for each program. So for example, if I open up Microsoft Edge, and, and these keyboard shortcuts may or may not work in other browsers depending on what you're using, but Control T would do a new tab, Control N would open up a new window. So it's just an example, these are ways to save time. If you have a particular application that you use frequently, I would definitely encourage you to look around and see if there are special keyboard shortcuts and modifier keys for that specific piece of software. Again, there's just so many pieces of software you could potentially be using. It would just be crazy to go over every single possible keyboard shortcut. But um, those are some important ones that you can use.